Have you ever found yourself staring at your wardrobe, not knowing what to wear, and after 10 minutes just failing to come up with a decent outfit? Yeah, the worst part is it usually happens when you're most in a rush. Trust me, I get it. Been there, done that. But dressing well doesn't have to be complicated. By following these seven core principles, you can look sharp and put together at all times, even when you're in a rush and can't waste any time thinking about what to wear. Number one, know your body type and what works best for you, because we're all built differently. If you have short legs and a long torso, try tucking in your top into some high-waisted trousers to balance out the proportions. If you have a short torso and long legs, the same pieces might look unbalanced, so it could look better to not tuck in your top and opt for more balanced proportions. If you want to accentuate your upper body, try jackets that have more structure around the shoulders. This one from Le Mer has been one of my favorites recently. If you want to draw attention away from a body part, darker colors will work very well, whereas brighter, lighter colors will draw more attention to that area. Number two, choose the right colors for your skin tone. As a general rule of thumb, you want to avoid colors that blend in too much with your skin tone. So for example, many Asians like me have a yellowish undertone to their skin, which make our skin appear extremely dull when wearing colors like mustard, for example. So I've learned to never wear mustard. Some people have a pink undertone. So if you're very pale with pink undertones, pastel colors will tend to wash you out. Or if you have brown skin, some shades of brown that are too close to your skin tone can feel a little bit odd. You get the gist of it. Now, it doesn't mean that you can never wear these colors. There's always exceptions to the in fact, the likes of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West very much embraced the nude look in many of their respective designs, and that can look great when done right. But for the most part, especially if you're in a rush and don't want to mess it up, avoid those colors that blend in too closely with your skin tone. Number three, focus on quality essentials. Big emphasis on these two words. Build a wardrobe of good basics that fit you perfectly. You should practically be able to open your closet and get dressed in the dark and still come out looking decent, which is actually pretty realistic if you focus on building a capsule collection of versatile wardrobe staples that you can easily mix and match. And don't skimp on the quality, because investing in high quality clothing will not just make you look better, it will also last longer, which is good for your wallet in the long run. Look for clothes made from natural fibers such as cotton, wool, silk, and leather. I used to always want to buy the cheapest stuff possible, but I've learned that sometimes you do actually get what you pay for, and if you can afford it, it's definitely worth spending a little bit more for higher quality. Number four, dress for the occasion. Learn to understand the dress code, even if it's unspoken, or you'll stick out like a sore thumb. You don't wanna be the guy dressed in a three-piece suit at a weekend barbecue, or vice versa, the guy dressed in cargo shorts and a polo at the office. Some people might call BS and say, rock your three-piece suit, be the best dressed guy in the room. But I would argue that's not actually being well-dressed because it can feel out of touch in the wrong venue, like you're trying too hard to impress. Someone who is in harmony with his environment, dressed appropriately for the occasion, but still with a little edge, a little je ne sais quoi, with class and effortlessness that makes you wonder, who is this person? That is a magnetism that few hold, and that is the mark of a truly well-dressed person. Number five, elevate your accessories. Now me personally, I don't like picking and choosing from a million different accessories, deciding which jewelry I wanna wear each day. So I'll leave that hassle to my girlfriend who loves having options. I prefer to have a few high quality, timeless pieces that I will wear over and over again. This necklace, for example, I practically haven't taken it off in like eight years. For rings, I wear the same two to three rings every day. The same with my wallet, phone case, and all my other everyday accessories. I think that if you're going to level up your wardrobe, it also makes sense to level up the accessories that you carry with you every day. Jewelry, glasses, tech, etc. Speaking about accessories, a quick word about Moft. You might have seen on my Instagram that I have partnered with Moft for all of my tech accessories, and that's because they make some of the best products in the business. I actually found out about them from my guy Viet, who's behind the camera right now, when he brought his Moft Snap Wallet to work, which also acts as a phone stand. And I was impressed by just how functional this design is. And they recently launched their line of vegan leather phone cases for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. They have a sleek, minimal design that will pair well with the timeless wardrobe. The best part about this case is that it is anti-scratch. We even tested it with keys and they didn't leave a mark. It is MagSafe compatible and it can be fitted seamlessly with the snap-on wallet or the battery pack to charge your phone on the go. You can conveniently carry it with its lanyard if you wish and easily take it off with the hidden connectors integrated within the case. I'm super glad to be partnering with Moft because they're 
products are truly well designed and made with both function and fashion in mind. The vegan leather cases are available in a wide range of different colors, so you can choose your own color combo to mix and match with your snap wallet. I would highly recommend checking out Moft if you're looking for some premium tech accessories. I'll put a link to their website in the description. Number six, when in doubt, wear black. Black is chic, black is sleek, black is everything. And most of all, it's easy to put together an all black outfit when you're in a rush. Call me lazy, but it works and it feels great to wear. For some reason, black just has that magic of making me feel extra confident whenever I wear it. You don't have to go all black either. It's very easy to mix and match with other colors, so you can go for other neutrals or brighter, bolder colors with it. And I'm no Nostradamus, but I can pretty confidently say black will never go out of style. And one important tip to avoid boring outfits when going all black is to mix in some texture using different fabrics like wool, leather, or canvas. It will make your outfit more interesting. Number seven, pay attention to detail. Dressing well is about more than just your outfit, the clothes you wear. It's about how you take care of them. A truly well-dressed, well-kept man pays attention to the small details, like keeping his shirt well ironed, his shoes polished, and his coat lint-free. These are the subtle, small things that make a big difference. Lastly, no matter what you're wearing, remember that confidence is key. Genuine inner confidence will radiate through regardless of how you're dressed. So take more actions in your daily life that will build your self-esteem and confidence confidence. Go to the gym, improve your style, you can work on your communication skills, or become highly competent at something. These things all add up to building a high degree of self-confidence, which will make you look and feel better. So stand up straight, shoulders back, and walk out that door with confidence. I wish you a beautiful day, my friend, and I will see you in the next one.